BNB, we start with one of our charts. Just I want to give a quick update. And if you refer to our analysis, since the price was within here, I will always keep highlighting. We are expecting to see one more drop at least. Uh, we discuss about that, and this is what we get. And if you refer to the indicators, we had a divergence. And this is what we get. Whoever get the trade for buy from here, mostly they should take the trade based on lower time frame. If they want to keep the trade move, there is a plus to break even. All right. But if they take out the trade in the profit, it's good for them. And right now we're looking for at this. If we get any opportunity for buy, we'll take it. And with the breakout of the previous stop, we're looking for 609. Anyway, we start with the daily chart. And if you refer to our analysis based on daily chart, we mentioned we're looking for the reversal. As we can see, the price a few times tag 510, but there was no breakout. Because we mentioned we prefer to see the reversal video, the breakout of this zone. All right, this is what I'm referring to. And we mentioned we're looking at this one. Any opportunity for buy the reversal, we will take it. This is what we're looking for. And the targets we're looking for based on daily chart is 890 following by 1130. But based on daily chart, we don't see any trade setup yet. And if you move to forward chart, the best things was because we mentioned we're looking for the one more drop from here. The best things was if the price could continue and tag the lowest price. In that case, we could look for the conform with the divergence. Even some of the traders at this point, they consider as a divergence. Uh, but if you put this low in relative to the this one as a, sh a small, big, is on, in this short term, we see that we have a divergence and even here. But in the bigger picture, the best, even we can consider as a divergence, but the best things was if the price could take the lowest price of this. Then we had a conformation, all right? By the way, from now, if you get any opportunity for buy, we'll take it. And this is what we're looking for. But at any times, we have to see the breakout of the previous stop to confirm we are within the uptrend because we should know about the possibility this one can turn to similar to any of this for the next drop. That means this one can drag before we see the reversal simply because of what we have here. All right. And any reversal, we'll take it with the breakout of 609. We're looking to see the breakout of 644, the breakout of this one to confirm we are within an uptrend as a long term is quite important for us. And if I move to one hour chart, if the price is going to continue and drop, we just let it go. All right. We, uh, we discuss about that in based on forward chart, but any opportunity for buy, either by having entry above here or a reversal as a short move flag, like we will take it. All right. Anyway, we just follow the chart. And one thing I need to highlight here if this one turned to a deeper correction, we see the next drop, then we can adjust our entry and put it here. All right. But we should know that if you want to put a warren tree above the top, you want to price sharply tag, break and continue the price tag. This is not moving within the first or maximum second hours. We should take over the trade. At this point, we cannot put a warren tree above here if we get the correction and we see the next drop. Anyway, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.